What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up. Say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Hi guys, today we're talking about Kala Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol K-A-L-A. -A. Now this stock is a classic example of buy the rumor, sell the news. As you can see, it used to trade significantly higher, but it gradually dropped over the last year and then it sank a further 17.4% in October. Shares of Kala Pharmaceuticals were sinking 17.4% as of 3.30pm EDT on Tuesday. The big drop came after the drug maker announced FDA approval of a SUVIS for short-term treatment of dry eye disease. So as I said earlier, this is a classic example of buy the rumor, sell the news. Clearly people were waiting for the approval and then everybody started selling their stocks in order to lock in some profit. But why should we be excited about this company and more specifically their product in a SUVIS? This is what their CEO had to say last year. FDA approval of Asuvis is an important moment for patients who have been waiting for an FDA approved, safe, effective and fast acting therapy. Asuvis is the first FDA approved therapy that specifically targets the short term treatment of dry eye disease. So the next logical question is that if Asuvis is the only drug available for short term treatment of dry eye disease, then how big is this total addressable market? So according to this report, the global dry eye syndrome market size was USD 5.22 billion in 2019 and is projected to reach to 6.54 billion by 2027, exhibiting a CAGR of 4.7% during the forecast period. So if Kala is the only treatment available for this disease, then it stands to reason that it should be able to get a lot of this market share as long as they can ex execute on their business plan. Next, I wanted to have a look at how soon they can actually start selling and making some revenue from this drug, so I found this on their website from a recent press release. Kala has completed the hiring and onboarding of its expanded ophthalmology sales force, which now consists of 91 sales professionals calling on eye care professionals including ophthalmologists and optometrists. The company plans to expand its sales force to approximately 125 representatives in 2021, pending the status of the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, Kala's payer account team is actively engaged in contract discussions with commercial and Medicare Part D health plans. But their product pipeline isn't limited to just this one drug. The other drug that they've recently started selling is Inveltis. So let me read this bit here to give you more context. We continue to promote Inveltis as the first and only twice daily corticosteroid for post-operative inflammation and pain following ocular surgery, while also advancing Kala's next wave of preclinical development programs in our pipeline. And it's good to see that their sales team have had success selling Inveltis. To give you an idea of that, over 144,000 Inveltis prescriptions have been reported as of January 31st, 2020. Inveltis has achieved approximately 11.2% branded new prescription market share. Over 3,300 eye care professionals have prescribed Inveltis. Inveltis has also achieved approximately 80% unrestricted commercial market access and approximately 23% unrestricted Medicare Part D market access for an aggregate total of approximately 145 million covered lives. Now let's take a look at what the analysts are saying about this company. But first, if you're enjoying this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also consider subscribing to the channel. It'll cost you nothing, but it'll mean a lot to me. Right, so as you can see here, we have a median target of 17 and a high target of 49, which is a massive upside from where the share price is currently trading. So now let's have a look at their balance sheet to see their debt position. So the debt to equity ratio is 67%. It's a bit on the high side, but that's but it's not completely horrendous. They've also been reducing their debt. Kala had negative sharehold equity five years ago, but is now positive and has therefore improved. Overall, this company looks like a good buy to me. The way they're ramping up their sales team indicates that they are expecting to sell a lot of this new drug and that should improve their revenues. However, there is one thing to be concerned about, which is shareholder dilution. They do have around 50 million shares outstanding. So if these extra shares get dumped into the market, then that would cause some dilution and the price share price could go down. Personally, I have started a position in this company, 
and I expect the share price to double within the next 6 months. That's it for me, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think about this company, are you going to buy it, are you staying away from it, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.